Hi friends, Nancy here. Uh, this is going to be a fun video for me because um, I'm going to talk about what I eat in a day uh, to maintain my 165 pound weight loss and my abstinence. I follow Kay Shepard's food plan for food addicts, which can be found at uh, kayshepard.com. And so we'll get started with uh, breakfast. I forgot to get a spoon, wait a minute. Sorry about that. Uh, so bre for breakfast, I have um, six ounces of fruit, uh, four ounces of protein, uh, one dairy, which is a cup of uh, fat-free dairy or a cup of yogurt or uh, two-thirds of a cup of uh, Greek yogurt and or soy, a cup of soy milk. Um, a grain, uh, let's see, let's be one cup of grain or starchy vegetable. So, um, I will show you this bowl of heaven, is what it's called. Um, today I have uh, buckwheat. Uh, oatmeal seems to bother me because I abused it in the past. And I um, use uh, soy milk and um, chopped up fruit or berries, uh, cinnamon, and on the side I have my protein serving, which I have leftover chicken. Don't limit yourself with breakfast foods, traditional breakfast foods, uh, throw that out the window. Um, I use whatever leftover, I make big batches of protein, whatever leftover protein I have. Um, is what I use. Oh, and cinnamon. I like cinnamon. It's a nice uh, sweetener for cereal and um, other things. Uh, so that is breakfast, and I eat it about eight o'clock in the morning. Um, I eat every four hours, so that this works out for me. It's four hours before noon, and that that works for me. So let's go on to lunch. So it's very rarely that I eat lunch at home. So I um, I always pack it to go, and I throw in I I prepare my lunch in my lunch container um, while I'm cooking breakfast. I like a warm breakfast, so while it's while that's getting ready, I throw my my um, salad together. So lunch is uh, four ounces of protein two raw, cups of raw vegetables, uh, one starchy vegetable or a cup of grain, and um, I use half my oil allotment at lunch on my salad, and that would be one and a half teaspoons of olive oil or whatever oil that you prefer. And so let's see what that looks like. Okay, so this is my six cup container fills this container very nicely and as you can see I have all my chopped vegetables um, I have uh, two cups of chopped vegetables I have one cup of peas and four ounces of chicken I sprinkled some blend seasoning blend on top that's kind of nice I don't use a, a specific salad dressing. I just I uh, sprinkle on some um, apple cider vinegar, which is good for gut health. I put these little thingies on so it makes it uh, easy. Shake it up so you get. Um, I found that not all apple cider vinegar is equal. Some, you know, bother my food addiction, um, but I I stick with Bragg's. Um, it's good quality and they don't seem to put any suspicious things in it. And then uh, same with my olive oil. I have this handy little um, thing so I keep it on the counter and it's closed and I don't have to bother unscrewing caps like that's a big uh, labor but anyway. So <laughs> uh, get yourself some good quality olive oil so it tastes nice. And so uh, the vegetables in my salad today are um, some daikon radish, ra radish uh, carrots, celery, uh, shredded cabbage, some homemade sauerkraut for gut health again, 
and um, that's that's good. It's uh, very filling and delicious, and I have that at, at noon. And then dinner. So I still have that chicken. I make large batches of protein and measure it out and keep it in my fridge. Um, I also uh, do that with the grains. I make a big batch at a time and these are one cup servings so it's all measured and ready to grab quickly. Um, the peas, I, I get three pound bags of frozen peas and I put them in these one cup containers and uh, take them out of the freezer as I need them, you know, the day before. Salad, I make those like every every four days, I'll uh, make up uh, four salads. They, that seems to be a good time. Five, they get a little eh. So that's what I do. This is a two cup container. So it's all measured, ready to grab and go. Um, so. Uh, dinner is uh, four ounces of protein, two cups of cooked vegetable, um, one, uh, let's see, it would be one cup of starchy vegetable or grain. Um, today I have chicken again, and this is uh, a hard squash uh, cooked uh, up ahead of time, and I put those in the little cup servings and keep those in the fridge, have them on hand. Um, and then I have the mixed uh, vegetables. Um, I roasted the vegetables. They're, I, they're delicious that way. I made big, two big trays and uh, measured them out in two cup uh, containers. And um, that has uh, summer squash, uh, onions, mushrooms, and um, cherry tomatoes cut in half and what I do is spray a um, large sheet pan with non-stick cooking spray that's alcohol free or you can use parchment paper to save on the cleanup and chop up the vegetables spread them out mix them and spread them out then I spray um, non-stick cooking spray again over the whole thing and then this time I sprinkled um, Italian seasoning and, and cooked it for 50 for 20 to 30 minutes depending on your oven and um, until they're all like a little brown and, and cooked through. It's delicious. Now if you had a heavier vegetable like a carrot, um, broccoli, cauliflower, um, I would cook those together and the uh, the summer vegetables I would cook those together because they have different cooking times um, and well, something else I want to just okay so um, the starchy vegetables um, those would include acorn squash, butternut squash, uh, spaghetti squash, winter squash, Hubbard, um, peas starchy vegetable, sweet potato, yams, white potato, all kinds of potato, and the potatoes are uh, measured out eight ounces on Kay's plan uh, after cooking. And then um, for grains, um, don't limit yourself to brown rice. I mean, you can develop an allergy or, you know, a sensitivity to something if you just eat it every single day, day in, day out. So grains, there are, is amaranth, hulled barley, uh, the pearled barley is too processed, um, brown rice, uh, batsami rice, buckwheat groats. Uh, uh, buckwheat is not a wheat, it, um, it's, uh, it's an, oh, I don't eat wheat at all. Uh, millet, oat bran, oat groats, quinoa, rye berries, steel cut oats, teff, whole grain oats. Um, now, um, the only thing on that grain list it, that is, um, uh, has gluten, I believe, are the rye berries. And you can get the oats uh, gluten free. So, uh, if that's a concern of yours. Okay, and then um, in the evening, and Kay's plan, we have the metabolic adjustment. 
and that includes uh, six ounces of fruit and one serving of dairy and um, this one today is uh, six ounces of um, mixed berries on um, two-thirds of a cup of Greek yogurt that's a full serving for the Greek yogurt and some cinnamon and um, it's very tasty delicious and I have that at 8 o'clock at night four hours after eating dinner and that's a couple of hours before I go to bed it's not good to eat just before you go to bed I think that covers it um, oh and uh, for for yogurt um, I like this brand um, but just look at the label um, this one has um, pasteurized skim milk and then the good um, active uh, cultures so one single sir what single uh, ingredient foods are are always the best for uh, food addicts and um, same with soy milk um, they, they just put so much crap in that soy milk now it's it's not really healthy though people are eating, drinking it because they want better health and it's really not that healthy um, there's a, a brand West Soy and um, Trader Joe's brand ha they have one that is just um, filtered water and soybeans and uh, that's the way we should go very simple um, all those other things can wreak havoc with our addictions um, us and uh, you know skim milk uh, dairy you know plain yogurt of course um, and I, I haven't uh, been able to find a clean almond milk they all have like natural flavorings or some th uh, thickeners or, or something that uh, that cause problems um, I think that's it keep it as simple as possible and um, take good care of yourself you're worth it. Bye-bye.